Guys, I have never seen uglier sneakers in my life. Welcome back, Ranger fans. My name is Robbie. You're watching Geek Level Asian, and we're gonna go over today's Fan First Friday. Let's begin. They went back to the original formula. This is a much longer video, so there's a bunch of things that I'm gonna talk about. I'll also share my opinions throughout this video, what I'm gonna buy, what I think is either a waste of time or things I don't care about. And then as always, I'll leave some links down in the description so that you guys can find these things and buy them. But before we continue, please don't forget to like the video. It helps other Ranger fans see this video in their feed. And I'm still doing my Hasbro Power Morpher giveaway. All you have to do is go follow me on TikTok. The winner of the giveaway will be chosen from that list. So let's get down to business. I got my list of the notes that I took from the video itself because there were a bunch of things. Now the first one just frustrates me because I know that they're reading our feedback and they're reading the comments and they read the things that we say and that we request and the things that we want. So instead of working on those things, here you go, Ranger fans. Here's a car. I'd be very interested to see how the other car, I think a, a Green Ranger car came out a little while ago, you know, because Tommy Mania. This car, this White Ranger car, comes with a little White Ranger figure. I'm not sure if the green one did, or was it a Red Ranger? Honestly, I don't even remember what it was, because I don't want it, and I don't know anybody who does. But yeah, that was announcement number one. Now the next one, if you play the Power Rangers video game, if you play Power Rangers Legacy War, this is pretty cool. It's more of like a character announcement. It's a skin announcement. We're getting Trini in the dragon armor, so if you read the Boom Studios comics, there was this, there was this like draken, like zord looking dragon thing, and somewhere in the comic at some point, Trini like worked it into an actual suit, uh, and it, it's her wearing it. So after that, they went through the Reebok sneakers, and they brought in some other dude to announce or to reveal the sneakers. Most of you have probably seen them online. Listen, I'm, I'm not a sneakerhead, right? Uh, but I do really like sneakers, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, into, I'm into sneakers. And you would think that since I'm such a big Power Rangers fan and that I like sneakers, that I want these. Guys, I have never seen uglier sneakers in my life. The cool thing about them, and the only reason why I would want them at all is for the boxes. The boxes form a gigantic Megazord, that's pretty cool. I like the thought that went into that. But the shoes themselves, they just don't look good. The red sneakers look like Payless running shoes. They look like children's Payless running shoes. If there was one that maybe is wearable for me would be the Club C versions, which are the yellow. Yellow sneak, what would I wear? What would anyone wear those with? The ones that I think look futuristic and interesting, it's funny because they're futuristic but also have like an 80s vibe, is the the pink ranger ones because they're mostly white and they have like the velcro top they almost look kind of like easy looking but yeah guys I, no no hate to anyone who already bought those but i would not be caught dead in those so then they mentioned something that i hope is really cool which is starting august 1st they're going to be doing something called power month which is going to be all power rangers news weekly in the month of august so that's pretty neat i mean hey We've been getting a lot of Fan First Fridays, and that's absolutely appreciated, but hopefully they have a bunch of cool releases lined up for that month, because it'd be silly to have a bunch of, like, not-so-great announcements for an entire month. They're doing a rerun of the Dragon Dagger, the, the Lightning Collection Dragon Dagger, which is pretty cool. Uh, when I opened that for the first time, I thought it was awesome until I realized there was a gigantic hole in my handle and I had to return it. But other than that, I never rebought it, by the way. Uh, not, not just on principle, but I, I just never got around to it. But that is a cooler toy, in my opinion. Uh, so they're rerunning that, so if you missed it, you can get that again. So that's pretty neat. One of the things that I was totally not expecting was the Tiger Electronics, like, retro game, like, handheld game. I used to play these things a lot when I was, when I was really little. I had, uh, the Gauntlet. I had Gauntlet. Um, I also had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like, like, long-looking one. It was, it was, it didn't, it wasn't like the rectangular one, it was more like vertical. I had that. I don't think I ever had the Power Rangers one, so maybe I'll pick that up. They gave us a closer look at the cogs themselves. We've already seen pictures because they were released, but they showed, uh, the cog action figures. They come with two different sets of pretty much everything, which is pretty neat. And I do like the open-faced and closed-faced, it sounds like I'm talking about sandwiches, uh, but they have the different heads and you could, 
use them basically on both action figures since you get like the silvery gray and the maroonish looking body. So you have a set of heads for each one. That's nice. I I'm honestly not so much a fan of cogs like from the show in general, but these are these are pretty cool to have, especially if you're an army builder. So now we get into Lightning Collection, Wave 10, and the pre-orders that went live at 1 p.m. today. Let's do it. So the first one that we saw was Riley, Dino Charge Green, and what I like what they did was they gave him some specific sets of hands. The left hand, the sp specifically, is shaped in a way, if you've ever watched the show or if you've ever watched Kiryuger, there's a specific pose that the Green Ranger does, and they gave him the hand uh, for that specific pose, which is cool. And then they gave him a right hand where the trigger finger actually fits into the little trigger, like, I don't know what that's actually called, uh, but so that it looks like it's actually holding the, the, uh, pension device correctly. They gave a little bit of a close-up of the head sculpt. From what I can see, it... You know, I think a few of the characters suffer from just being bland. It's like, yeah, it resembles the person a little bit, but I'm not gonna say it looks like them. Like, I think the James Davies one looks like James Davies. I don't really think the Brennan one looks like Brennan. Like, the Tracy Lynn one, I don't think that really looks like Tracy Lynn at all. The Tweet Trang, that looks very much like her, and we all know that the Amy Jo Johnson, is, like, is the polar opposite. It looks nothing, nothing like her. This one's, like, in the middle. It's like, it resembles him. Does it look like him? Not really. So now, the next Lightning Collection reveal was In Space Pink. Now, there's a few things about this that are incorrect. I mean, if you look at the actual pink helmet, if you look at the visor, the visor is super incorrect, uh, the, the shape of it, and I'm gonna show you some pictures, they're probably gonna be popping up on the screen now. And then on the box itself, uh, some of my other friends noticed that the, the yellow piece, the triangular piece around the neck is just not there in the graphic. Like, these are things like, there's definitely someone who okays all of these things, and I, I'm just, sometimes, listen, I get it. They're a huge business. I wouldn't even say that they're like a gigantic organization, but they have a gigantic footprint. There's a lot of things to think about, but there's certain things sometimes like where I'm just like, guys, who, who is not doing their job? One of the cool things about this figure is that the weapon that she had, I don't know what it's called, I don't remember. The blast effect looks like it's coming out of the satellite dish. Like they shaped the blast effect to look like, like some type of sonic ring. That was a nice touch, I like that. So now over the past month or so, we've been getting a lot of Phantom Ranger news. Like there's, uh, there's gonna be a reveal of who Phantom Ranger is. We're getting like an origin story or maybe it's just like in-depth stories about Phantom Ranger from the Boom Studios comics. I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't care about Phantom Ranger. That is a character that I personally just never thought about at all. Now that aside, the action figure looks pretty good. I, it, it looks pretty good, that's it. They did this thing where they, they're giving him a blast effect that comes out of his chest and they mentioned that it happens in the comic. Uh, I guess it didn't happen in the show. I, I, again, I, I watched those episodes maybe once when I was a child and I never, I never watched them again. And he also gets the Turbo Navigator, which was the little reveal, or I don't want to say it was reveal, it was like a hint or a spoiler or whatever you want to call it from one of the, the more previous, maybe it was the last Fan First Friday, they showed like something that looked like the Navigator. So we're getting that figure. If you want it, cool. So now for this last one, A, I think that this character deserves a figure uh, and has for a while, and the head sculpt looks really good. So Ranger fans, you can finally complete your Zeo team with Tanya. And the figure looks pretty awesome. It comes with the yellow nunchucks. The head sculpt looks very decent. It, I'm not gonna say it looks exactly like her, but it looks very much like her. It, it, it's super close. I think I think this head sculpt looks closer than, for instance, the 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 cat one. Even the most recent cat one that came out, which does look more like her than the original metallic one. I think this one looks close. I think that the hair looks good. They did the hair really well. This is a good homage to Nakia. Oh, I almost forgot. There was a Monster of the Week reveal. We are getting Eye Guy. Now, I'm pretty sure, it's funny, I don't remember where I remember this from, but I'm pretty sure we knew Eye Guy was coming. Maybe there was like some type of leak online. Eye Guy doesn't look too bad. I think Eye Guy looks pretty good. He definitely, he's suffering from 
having no shading. But other than that, the figure doesn't look too bad. The figure is gigantic. It is a very large figure, and they say that in the in the video, that they compare him, A, to King Sphinx, who everyone was complaining was too big to begin with. So he's big, and he's also heavy. What's cool about this figure, though, is that the main eye on his face, you can change the eyelid. I thought that was really cool. That is a cool touch. You can also take the little plastic covering, like the lens, off of him and put a blast effect coming out of the eye. Also pretty cool. And it comes with, like, the, uh, you know, the... I don't even know what to call it, but it comes with, he, you know, how he floats around in the episode. It comes with that as well. Definitely a cool reveal. Again, I love that they're putting these monsters out because I think that that's something that previous series just never really focused on other than like the original 90s one but until they release a terror toad i don't care so then after this section of the video they gave it to jordan uh who works on product and he talked about a bunch of things that are not pre-orderable they're going to be released on shelves they said and they're going to be in stores but he kind of talked about I guess more the Dino Fury children's toys. So let's go through that. They showed us, finally, some completed, at least, demos of the Zord packaging. And you know what? It's pretty cool. The Megazord, the Dino Fury Megazord, is not going to come all in one box. It's going to be in three different boxes. Was kind of expecting that. The red T-Rex Champion Zord comes by himself. And if I'm remembering this correctly, I believe green and pink come together, and then black and blue also come together. So there's three different boxes that you'd have to pick up in order to create your Dino Fury Megazord. They also showed us some prototype mock-ups, I guess you can say, of the gold Mosasaur Zord, and I think they called it the Terra Freeze Zord. Those are always neat to see, you know, like the, the project files. In regard to the Dino Fury action figures, they showed us a Gold Ranger and a Void Knight. I don't collect either of those. I think they're both six-inch figures. And then right after that, they really made a lot of people mad because if you guys remember, they released red, blue, and pink, the six-inch, like, children's action figures for, for Dino Fury. They're releasing black and green, finally, but you have to buy them in a complete pack with all of them. So whoever bought those original three, if you want black and green, you're gonna have doubles. But what is cool about this pack is A, it comes with all the keys, and it comes with the, the Dino Fury buckle. Uh, so that you can open it and put the key in it, like they do on the show. So then to finish it all up with the releases, or reveals, I should say, they gave us a close look, and we saw these again on social media, these have been out. But the Chroma Fury Saber, the Dino Fury Swords, basically, they showed us what that looks like. It's tiny, again, it's made for kids. I'm not expecting this to be, uh, you know, a full-size sword that, that I would collect. Something that they did on this that is super, I mean, A, let's talk about like the main features, right? The, the mouth opens, you could put the key in just like they do on the show so the kids can play with it. There's one thing that was interesting that I've never seen on a toy, but it's pretty cool technology. I, I, it's not practical, I think, really for anything else other than this release or maybe future swords or toys are going to be putting out. But they put this like color matching technology on the handle so you can basically put the handle literally on something physically in the world and then the blade will turn that color. You know, not that it does it on the show or not that we needed that, but I was thinking about it and I was like, that's actually pretty neat just technology in general. Like, cool. Like, I'm not going to buy this thing, but if I was a kid, I'd probably play with that. But again, want to just make sure everybody remembers, everything that this guy Jordan showed that was Dino Fury related, none of this is available uh, for pre-order. So you're not going to be able to find it today online. You're going to have to go out to the stores like our parents did when we were little and go find it. So then to give us a teaser, they showed a silhouette of something that was pretty, pretty obvious. It, it, it's, a, it's a silhouette of someone kicking. It's very obvious that it's a Ninjetti character. So... It's probably gonna be Tommy. It's probably gonna be, you know, White Ninjetti. We don't know yet. So, that being said, uh, if there's anything that I would want, it would probably be, you know, I would say that I would want Zeo Yellow, but I haven't collected any of the other Zeo figures, and part of that was because when I was gonna get red and I was gonna get blue, and then when the Tonf- Oh, that's- I forgot to mention this. They told us that the Tonfas were going to come in a future release. You would think it's a Zeo release, but this is the last Zeo reveal. Tanya was the last Zeo reveal, at least of the of the, the main rangers. So where are the Tonfas, guys? But yeah, it's that type of inconsistency that makes me not want to want to get things. And again, just going down the list, 
don't care about the car, don't care about the video game. I think the shoes are super ugly. Again, Tanya, I would want it. If she came with the Tanfas, maybe I'd get everyone from Zeal, maybe. I guy is cool, but he's not my favorite monster. Again, I really want a Terra Toad. And I'm not getting any of the Dino Fury stuff. So there you go. That's it. So what do you guys think about all of these Lightning Collection and other Power Rangers franchise reveals in this Fan First Friday? Leave your opinions down in the comments. Also leave what type of reveals you want to see during Power Month. August 1st starts Power Month. It's going to be all Power Rangers for the entire month reveals from Hasbro. What do you want to see? Or what do you think realistically we're going to see? I know some of you guys pay attention to those, like, codes, which I don't really, but... For anyone who is paying attention to those, put those down in the comments for everyone else uh, to, to, to learn. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on social media. And remember, if you go follow me on TikTok, you are automatically entered into my Hasbro Power Morpher giveaway. For anyone who's in the U.S., have a wonderful 4th of July, and I will see you next time. May the power protect you.